There's a small beaker here with uh, some copper in it, some raw copper that was taken uh, out of ore. So it's not uh, it's not been formed into anything yet. They're just little nuggets. And we have nitric acid here, which we made last time. Um, and I'm going to try to make copper nitrate simply by putting nitric acid here uh, into the copper and let them react. The only acid that really dissolves copper is nitric acid. Um, and uh, this should turn eventually to like a deep blue or purple color. It may take weeks for it to happen. But eventually. You can see the copper reacting uh, as it bubbles away. All right, that's gonna sit for a bit. We'll come back to it. I had to take the uh, nitric acid copper mix out here uh, outdoors because it started to produce a ton of uh, this brown gas, which is basically um, nitric acid in gas form. And it's very potent, but it's, uh, it's reacting pretty nicely in there getting quite hot also. All right, we'll wait until the reaction's done. The copper is dissolving into smaller and smaller pieces here, of course. There's a brownish gas I talked about earlier, it's, uh, nitrogen dioxide, and it is extremely fatal. But outdoors like this, it gets blown everywhere, so it's, it's fine to be close to it. Not too close though. Okay. You clearly see the copper is gone. Uh, the bubbling stopped. It's been completely dissolved. What happens next is all this has to evaporate. It might take weeks or even months for that to happen. And then when it's evaporated, there will be crystals left on the bottom. And those will be copper nitrate crystals. And they'll be about this color.